So the Baltimore Ravens just signed another young wide receiver for Lamar Jackson. We also got some wild rumors heating up around the possibility of Brandon Ayuk being traded to another team like the Baltimore Ravens. We also got Rashad Bateman putting in some work. We got 11 days until the NFL draft and much more Baltimore Ravens news. So welcome in to another episode of Ravens Reports. It's your guy Noah here with For the Flock. As always, bringing you guys our top five news reports and storylines coming out of our Baltimore Ravens today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As you know, like we were talking about, this is really going to be like the episode of the wide receiver. We also are going to talk about a visit from a receiver the Ravens could be targeting in the draft and uh, a lot more. At number one, the Ravens have just signed 26-year-old veteran wide receiver Deontay Hardy, originally drafted by the Saints, went and played for the Buffalo Bills, and now he's signing with the Baltimore Ravens. He had an all-pro selection in 2021 as an all-pro kick and punt returner. This guy is absolutely electric with the ball in his hands, and we know the kickoff coming back to the NFL with a new role change. Uh, the Ravens, they value their special teams. They wanted to have a guy to do that, to specialize in that, especially with losing Devin Duvernay in free agency. But we also can't gloss over the fact that Deontay Hardy is – a young talent at the wide receiver position that he's only 26 years old and that he had a season with the saints where he had 570 yards of production. We're talking about more production than Odell Beckham jr. Just had with the Baltimore Ravens this last year. So you're getting some young talent, um, a speedy guy, a guy that can take end arounds, uh, handoffs, bubble screens. He can get open deep behind the defense This is also another weapon for your offense. We can't gloss over the fact that he had 570 yards through only 13 games in 2021 and that he's a speedy yards after catch vertical threat that can contribute to this offense. I love it because you get better on special teams, especially with this new rule that's in place. And you also just get some more insurance, some more depth, some more targets for Lamar Jackson and this offense. With Deontay Hardy and Zay Flowers both on the field at the same time, you know, that's two guys you have to worry about with the ball in their hands. Then you throw in Derrick Henry in the backfield and uh, then Mark Andrews or Isaiah Likely, you know, lined up next to the tackle. You've got some really, you got some real problems on your hands as a defense, worrying about who's going to keep the football, who could catch a screen, who could catch a handoff, whatever it is, right? Really solid addition by the Baltimore Ravens. And at number two, another wide receiver, all right? So, The Ravens are hosting Javon Baker, one of several other receivers that we know of that the Ravens have hosted during the pre-draft visit process. We also know that the Ravens have had visits with Keon Coleman, Jalen Polk, among other wide receivers in this year's draft class. So it's definitely a position on the Baltimore Ravens radar. We know that John Harbaugh also said, that Lamar Jackson was being tasked with watching some guys and providing input and feedback on some of the wide receivers he likes in this year's draft. Javon Baker, really impressive numbers. All right, so this last year with UCF, 52 catches for 1,139 yards, averaging 21.9 yards per catch. He's about 6'1", 202 pounds. He can go up. He's got a high vertical, tested well at the combine. He also runs a 4.52, so not a blazer, but not slow by any means. And he had a long last year of 86 yards, so he's explosive. Uh, he's an above the rim type of player that can go up and has strong hands. So he's a typical X type of wide receiver that the Baltimore Ravens are looking at. And based off some of the other visits that we know of, I think they're looking for that X wide receiver. And I think they're looking for a guy that can be a vertical threat as well as a contested catch type of guy as well. At number three, speaking of the wide receiver position, right? So the Baltimore Ravens, fourth year wide receiver. It's crazy that he's going into his fourth year. But Rashad Bateman, he's putting in work in the offseason. You love to see it because if you can remember this last year, you know, Rashad Bateman was not going into the season fully healthy. He started to ramp up during training camp. He was dealing with that foot and That's been the story of Rashad Bateman, right? He's just been nagged and plagued by injuries. You saw the great flashes in his rookie year 
you know, 500 receiving yards. Then you saw the next year in 2021, he was wide receiver one for the first few games, making plays. Um, had a monster game against the Dolphins and the Jets, and then he got hurt. That's been the story of Rashad Bateman. I I do really believe that with Rashad Bateman's skill set, and based off what we've seen him produce on an NFL field before, his route running is really smooth. He's underrated after the catch as well. He can make guys miss and has some wiggle. Um, I believe the talent's there for him to be a, a solid starting caliber wide receiver. I think a fully healthy Bateman, you know, living up to his full potential with Zay Flowers is a great one-two combo. But the Ravens aren't necessarily banking on that. They're looking to add some more talent in the draft. They uh, are rumored to be interested in Brandon Ayuk, which at number four, let's talk about Brandon Ayuk and some of these rumors. So a couple of reputable reports came out that... Uh, Brandon Ayuk had requested a trade. Now, some of these sources, a little bit questionable. Some of them are reputable. And the Ravens have been linked to Brandon Ayuk for what seems like months now. And there was another report um, saying that the Ravens had done their homework and had some preliminary interest. So this is really interesting because then another report came out from Brandon Ayuk's agent saying that he never requested a trade. So... And when it comes to the type of wide receiver that we were just talking about that I think the Ravens are looking for, an X-wide receiver that can get vertical and win contested catches, Brandon Ayuk has his name written all over that, right? Brandon Ayuk can win deep. He can he's, can win after the catch. Um, he can make contested catches. He's just a playmaker. Over 1,300 yards and seven touchdowns last year with the San Francisco 49ers averaging 17.9 yards per catch. Would I love to see Brandon Ayuk in purple and black? Yes. Do I think it's very likely? Probably not, but you just never know with Eric DaCosta. He has shown his willingness to pull off big trades like this, you know, based off his uh, recent tenure with the Baltimore Ravens. He's been willing to part with some high-level draft capital for some talented players in the past. Look at Roquan Smith a few years ago. Look how that trade worked out. I do, however, think it would be really hard for the Baltimore Ravens to give up a first-round pick for Ayuk, uh, just based off what Eric DaCosta, you know, how much he values the draft. Do I think that we could trade maybe a second and, you know, a Rashad Bateman and Tylen Wallace? Or I don't know. I mean, it's definitely possible, but we also know that the Ravens are paying a lot of guys on their roster a lot of money. Guys like Mark Andrews, Lamar Jackson, Roquan Smith, Justin Matabike, you know, some core guys on the roster that are big time pieces getting paid big time money. And we know the Ravens value the draft. That's how they believe in building a long term roster. So while it's possible, my gut tells me something like this is probably more unlikely than likely. But man, would it be fun to see Brandon Ayuk with Zay Flowers, Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely. Uh, Derrick Henry in the same offense, that would just be something scary to deal with for opposing defenses. At number four, something else that's scary for opposing defenses is this duo right here in Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson. You just got to see these numbers real quick. The most rushing yards since 2018 by a running back is Derrick Henry, 8,268. The most rushing yards by a quarterback since 2018 is from Lamar Jackson with 5,258 rushing yards we're talking about some monster um crazy numbers here right from the best rushing running back since 2018 and the best rushing quarterback since 2018 absolutely phenomenal and if you just wonder if derrick henry still has the juice here's the graphic from pff derrick henry uh yards after contact in a season since 2019 in 2020 the leader in 2022, the leader in 2023 leads the NFL in yards after contact. We're talking about just last year, 1,257 yards after contact is more yards than most running backs had in total with contact, without contact, before contact. Absolutely absurd. I just get extra excited every time I remember that Derrick Henry is a Baltimore Raven. I cannot wait to see him in the same backfield as Lamar Jackson. And at number five, 
we're talking about the possibility of scooping up a Brandon Ayuk from the 49ers. Well, the 49ers scooped up a Baltimore Raven of their own. They grabbed a Rocky Asin, signed him as a free agent. And the list of free agents that have gone to other teams continues to grow. Rocky Asin didn't really have the role we thought he would when we signed him last year before the season. But he did have some quality play in there and was a, a key veteran depth piece on the roster. And now his services are now being transferred to the San Francisco 49ers. However, I will say I still feel pretty good about the cornerback room here in Baltimore. Definitely want to see some more young talent added in the draft. But I do like the idea of having Brandon Stevens and Marlon Humphrey on the outside with you know Jalen Armour Davis still developing behind them who has showed some good play when healthy. He's another if healthy type of guy, right? We also have our Darius Washington for the, the slot position coming back, playing that nickel. We got Arthur Marlette that returned as well. So we're looking pretty good in the cornerback room, but I definitely want to see some more young talent, especially added you know, for the outside corner position. Let me know what you guys think about the Baltimore Ravens wide receiver position in the comment section below. Are you excited about the guys we have? Are you looking for a guy early in the draft? Do you want to see Brandon Ayuk or another veteran or a big-time trade? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below, man. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Can't wait for the NFL draft in about 10 days. I haven't locked anything on yet, but I would like to do a live stream for the draft and just have you guys come in, hang out, you know, interact in the chat, enjoy the draft together, maybe have a guest on or two. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Hey, when he wasn't looking, he ran me over.